Hi! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add customized end time animation in Google Slides. This will include adding animations to text and objects, customizing animation effects and styles, and adjusting animation duration and timing. Presentation animation is an excellent method to add professional gloss to your Google Slides presentation. You can utilize animation and transitions between slides to make your presentation flow smoothly. You can even choose how long transitions should last. In the upper left corner of the toolbar, locate view. Under this, we will locate the motion option, which when click will open a panel on the right side. This tool will allow us to add our animation. So we'd like to select the text to which we want to apply motion. The add animation option may be found in the object animation menu. Once we click this, a drop-down menu will appear allowing us to choose the type of animation we want. So for example, I'd like to include the zoom in motion with this text. So simply find it on the list and then select the start condition or cue for the animation to begin. Google Slides has three start conditions for animation. On click, with previous and after previous. These parameters govern when the animation should begin Depending on your taste, it could begin with a button click. Then we have this slider right here that allow us to show the animation at a specific speed. We have slow, medium, and quick. So for example, I would like the animation to be slower. So to test it out with the animation settings we created, we press the play button right here. And because we've set the animation to start on click, all we need to do is click once and the zoom in action will begin slowly. The process for objects is similar, but I'll demonstrate it here. Again, in the upper left corner, click view and select motion. Once the panel appears on the right, we select add animation under object animations. Then we select the desired animation type and start condition. And to put it on the test, we press play. Click the transition button to the right of the toolbar. The animation panel appears on the right side of the screen. As shown at the top of the animation panel, the slide currently lacks a defined transition, so our next step is to include a transition. With the animations panel open, click the down arrow to the right of the words no transition. You will see a drop down menu listing the available transition effects. So we have uh, several transition options. You can ascertain the transition rates of occurrence once you've established its category. The transition timing slider is located beneath the transition type selection. The sliding scale has labels that read slow, medium, and fast. When you are scheduling your Google site presentation, it can be helpful to know how long your transition will take. This can be especially crucial for lengthier presentations that have sluggish transitions. So using the same transition to every slide in your presentation can be done quickly and simply. Additionally, this saves a ton of time. To apply to all slides, simply click the button located beneath the transition timing slider. Every slide in your presentation uses the transition you specified. That's it! Hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of this. See you again next time.